Great. So um, thanks very much uh, for having us. And uh, I'd like to talk to you about APS-C crop mode in the newly announced A7R Mark IV and uh, what we've done with this capability. And then some thoughts about uh, APS-C uh, in the market in general. So with A7R Mark IV, we have an all new 61 megapixel effective image sensor, the highest resolution uh, full frame sensor to date, the world's first sensor of this type. And with this much resolution on hand and 567 uh, phase detection AF points and 425 contrast AF points, we can also have a very powerful APS-C crop mode for those who use full frame cameras and uh, switch to APS-C crop mode for greater reach. In fact, in A7R Mark IV, we can realize the highest resolution APS-C model available today. With 61 megapixels on the full frame mode, when we crop to APS-C, we have 26 million pixels to work with. And right now, APS-C cameras are typically topped out at about 24 megapixels. So the speed of shooting and the very high resolution and very high dynamic range and low noise allows this camera to shoot in the APS-C mode very, very advantageously to photographers. Also in APS-C crop mode or Super 35 crop mode for video users, Alpha 7R Mark IV can capture 6K of data and oversample it while creating 4K QFHD frames. So this allows to have significant improvements in sharpness and image quality for uh, motion picture applications. On top of it, autofocus can also deliver some amazing results when shooting in the APS-C crop mode because the AF area on the image sensor, the phase detection arrangement on the AF uh, for AF on the image sensor in the crop mode has 325 phase AF points because we're only using the center two thirds of the image sensor. And it can cover practically 100% of the sensor. Vertically, it covers actually a little bit more than the crop area and the coverage in width covers pretty much edge to edge with 325 phase detect focus points. That means probably for the first time you can have essentially 100% coverage of the frame. When shooting the APS-C mode, every part of the frame has an AF point for autofocus. And that provides a level of flexibility, particularly for fast action shooting, that's really unparalleled. There really are no other cameras that can do this combination of very high resolution and essentially the entire frame coverage with AF points. So when this camera is used in the APS-C crop mode, it has some tremendous advantages over pretty much every other camera. On the, on the issue of APS-C, um, in the industry, much has been said about uh, how um, consumers are uh, uh, preferring or not preferring uh, the APS-C type cameras, the subframe cameras as we like to call them. And realistically, although it is true, the appeal of full frame cameras, particularly the appeal of full frame cameras uh, as they have become more and more affordable, has certainly had some impact on the demand for APS-C. However, the demand for APS-C when innovation is available for consumers um, is still very strong. Uh, again, in our minds, we find that consumer preference is largely driven by the kind of innovation that's available from the manufacturers. APS-C models with strong innovation and advantages in technology and usability um, become very popular very quickly, whereas older models without this innovation and without these advantages uh, do tend uh, to suffer from the incursion of more and more affordable full frame, no doubt. However, a great example 
of the uh, still great interest that exists for APS-C is our uh, A6400 introduced in the spring. It's been selling extraordinarily well and has been uh, really driving the growth that's available for APS-C. So it is true that the introduction of more and more affordable full-frame cameras has definitely attracted some end users, there's no doubt. And there is, for those end users, a shift from their interest in APS-C to full-frame cameras, for sure. However, if you take a look at APS-C cameras with innovation and benefit, their market acceptance is very strong, and it reflects there is still significant interest in subframe cameras among user groups. So we announced Alpha 7R Mark IV. It'll be priced at $3,500 in the US, and we expect availability in stores uh, in September of this year.